All right, guys, I wanted to shoot a very quick um, Tesla update video. Um, as I was driving home, my car notified me that it had a software update. Uh, now, that happens quite often. Uh, I know um, if you're not a Tesla guy, you're probably like, software update, right? But the cars quite regularly download updates. They might improve performance, efficiency, add other features, you know, different software features and whatnot. Anyways, so the update is 2022.4.5. I was just checking some of the notes and in the notes, it was mentioning that some Model Ys and I forget it might also have said Model 3s, but that's what we're doing the test for, that some of them will now have a heated windshield wiper feature enabled. Now, that's what I both love and hate about Tesla. Uh, I love that the cars are continually updated, different features are added constantly, um, really cool stuff, you know, no more going to the dealerships for stuff like this. But I also kind of hate it because if my cars had it installed for eight months, why is it now just being turned on? Can't really say. That's even if my car has it. So, specifically about the wipers, um, if you guys saw my one of my last videos, I decided to take the Model 3 to the ocean, to the beach, during a nor'easter on January, I think it was 29th of this year, 2022. Crazy storm, 50, 60 mile an hour winds. I think the beach got like 18 inches of snow. And the Tesla was great other than the fact that the windshield wipers froze. And I will go ahead and put that clip in now so you can specifically see how bad they froze. It was a fun trip. Uh, everything about the car was great. Um, defrost worked great, you know, range obviously sucks, but we knew that. Uh, the only real issue, and this is obviously an issue here, guys, but this completely froze to the winch. I can't even pull it up. So this completely froze and it rendered on the last uh, 10 minutes of my trip, wipers would not turn on. So you see what I'm talking about, how much it froze. Now we're gonna just go in the car and, and just check the update, see the progress of it. So it, like I said again, it's update 2022.4.5, probably got about another 10 minutes these updates are so easy. You basically just download it from your mobile app when your car connects to the Wi-Fi network and it just tells you it takes about 25 minutes to um, install the software update. Once that finishes, I'm going to go ahead and first we'll just see does my Model 3, it's a 2021, does my Model 3 have that feature added? And then if it does, how well does it work? I did read that it's temperature controlled. It won't activate if it's above 50 degrees. So my garage is heated, but I turned the heater down. I opened up the doors. I think it's about 32 degrees outside. Looks like my garage is 55 inside it now. So as long as it cools down another five degrees, by the time this update finishes, I will be able to test out that feature. And I'm definitely interested to update you guys. Stay tuned. Just wanted to quickly throw this in here. While I do think it is very unlikely that my Model 3 does have this feature, because it might only be 2022s, it might just be Model Ys, it might just be 2022 Model Ys, I'm unsure. They have done something pretty similar to this before with the steering wheel, actually. Now, I can't show you the feature because it's still doing the update, but earlier last year, um, there was a lot of chat on the forums, it could have been very early last year, about a heated steering wheel. And Tesla was activating that feature in the software, which to me, again, it's great, you're getting these features added, but it's also head scratching because you're saying, why would you have produced these Model 3s and Model Ys with a heated steering wheel from the factory, but not have it ready to be activated on day one, you know, the day the customer gets it. A little bit strange. You love it, you hate it. There's just like uh, EVs, like anything else, there's a lot of pros and a lot of cons. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm, I'm still loving this thing. It's, I didn't buy it to save the environment, okay? I bought it just because I actually think it's better than a gas car for how I use it. So we are at 60% 
I thought I'd just show you guys. So this is just Reddit under, you know, Tesla Motors. Apparently, this was talked to up to about a month ago um, that some of the Model 3s made in China would have this option enabled first. Now, I, I can't tell you if that's happened or not, um, but it is, you know, a little bit promising that the Model 3s have it as well and that it is, could be real. Now, obviously, this is shot in New Hampshire, in the United States. So this is a Fremont car. It was built in California, not, not China. Um, sometimes almost the same thing. But um, we're going to go ahead and just wait to see if it's going to work. All right, guys. So the update did just finish installing. The uh, computer has booted back up. Sadly, it does look like my car did not get the heated wipers. I thought it would be a long shot. Um, you know, you can see you have the max defrost there. You get the rear window wiper. I mean rear window defroster um, So it is a little bit disappointing. I, you know, it was a long shot, but to make To not end the video on such a, a depressing note just because the car did not get the added feature I they must be making the 2022s with them or very shortly be making them with the heated windshield wiper area um, that does not necessarily mean that it performs that poorly now granted i did see poor performance when um in those drastic conditions but i went ahead and just cranked cranked this to high and i wanted to give a demonstration i have an infrared gun i wanted to show just how hot the heat can get in this car with the heat pump. Now this does have the heat pump. We are showing upwards of a, what, 128 degrees? That's um, 130, 131. That's pretty hot, um, you know, and we can actually go check outside real quick, hold up. So, defroster is still cranking. We can see, I did put some ice on here because I was gonna test it out, that the glass right here is 110 degrees. And uh, you can see that it is actually, even the area directly underneath where the snow was, is 75 degrees. So, that's about it guys. Thought I had a chance at it. I know, um, so really about it for now. I'm um, gonna definitely be shooting some more footage in the future. Just, uh, it's just gotta come to me. Thanks guys, have a great night.